up any you know, sacks to them, never quarterback pressures, anything. So, you know, Walt won a whole career and never had his name called, you know. So, it's basically, ironically, it's the best thing you can say about him. Yeah. Just enjoying the moment, man. It's been great, man, to be back here, man, again, man. So, everything I've done, man, is right here, man. Let all stuff come on, man. So, it's amazing. Our family's here. We might get a chance to see a great win. So, it'd be honor, man, to keep my name in the state of matters. It's an amazing feeling. Great to see Walter Jones at CenturyLink. Not so great if you're a defensive lineman, though. Bruce, I know that Walter's been out of the league a couple years. How would you like to go against a guy like Hall of Famer Walter Jones? Uh, I wouldn't. You know, I'm, 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 I'm thankful that I was born in '87. You know. Couple years after him, so I, I, I missed him. Um, I heard he was a great player, you know. I seen a couple highlights on him, and uh, you know, he was a big dude. And once he got his hands on, he was pretty much a wrap. So, uh, you know, congrats to him on um, being elected into the, uh, the ring of honor. And, uh, you know, uh, hopefully, I'll never have to face nobody against him. No kidding. He had some big mitts. We saw your big mitts over the weekend, the way that you were able to tip that up. This week was what the Giants are doing now, those short passes, getting it out quick. How does this set up for you to make even more plays along the D-line? Well, it ain't about me. It's about us as a, as a, whole, a, whole, a whole unit. Um, you know, we've been dealing with that type of stuff the whole the whole season, you know, and that's why I feel like our lack of sacks has, has been on team game game plan like pretty good, you know, with the check balls and the the jailbreak the jailbreak screens on the perimeters and stuff like that, you know. So uh you know we just gotta run to the ball man, put a sound that ball. Uh you know when we get our chances we gotta take advantage of it. When Eli sit back there five, seven step drop, we gotta take advantage of that. Um if we don't, uh, it's going to be like San Diego and, and, and Dallas. And, you know, we want to stay out of those type, types of misery, you know. Absolutely. And what did you think of the effort of the defense? Because I know that's one of the things that's been talked about is, is maybe that was missing for a couple of games there. Uh, I, I felt like we had great effort out here. Um, we haven't got the results that we were getting last year. Um, but, you know, I feel like we're a young team. A lot of the new people in new positions, and uh, I feel like that'll come, you know. Uh, we got a lot of injuries, but that's not an excuse. So, you know, um, hopefully the next couple of weeks we get the guys like B-Wags back, um, Byron, you know, Jay Lane coming back. Um, so, uh, hopefully we can get our swag back and get it going like we did last year. Okay, last question. Speaking of swag, you told me after the game you did not have a touchdown celebration because you were too tired after going into the end zone. Now that you have seen the play enough with your teammates, have you thought about what your celebration might be the next time? Nope. You know, my sad celebration is the white man. That's the only one I care about. Well, he'll have plenty of time because he's getting a few more of those. It'll just come to him when it happens. The Seahawks with their sights set on a third straight win. Warren Moon's take on the New York Giants when Seahawks All Access continues.